express your creativity to the glory of God. Enjoy watching. Here, I just thought to do a, a tiny journal page while I'm on my lunch break at work. So I'm going to use my verse notes. Let me try this. So anyway, today's date is 3-29. And the category is the gospel according to John. Let me put this up a little bit. This is an awkward way of recording. Um, gospel according. I'll move my hand in a minute. According to John and the book of John, chapter 19 and verse 19. I was reading it and um, some things really stuck out to me with this. This is actually my Jesus Journal Junkies um, journal challenge for today. I was reading John chapter 18 yesterday and I just was crying. Um, um, it really just, my heart was really just moved and um, to tears. And I thought about what Jesus and was reading about what Jesus went through. And I never looked up the word male factor and I looked it up. It could be male factor, Molly factor. Um, it's a person that um, they operate in falsehood and um, perform evil deeds under in its faults. It's, it's performing, they're performing, but they're doing evil. Um, a person that does bad acts. I'll see if I could put up the definition on the screen, but um, I, I was crying. I said, "Oh, Jesus didn't go around doing good, and God, like." And then the, um, one of the high priests slapped them. No, one of the officers slapped them and said, "Do you talk to the high priest like that?" When he made a comment in response to something the high priest asked, you know. Anyway, so um, I'm not going to read the entire John 19. But the verse that I'm going to journal on is verse 19. Now Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. And the writing was Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. And if you read chapter 19, you would see that Pilate went back and forth with the Jews because he found no wrong in Jesus. But they were just accusing Jesus of lying, um, you know, saying that he's a malefactor. And, um, you know, he... He's, they say that he shouldn't have caught, they were mad because he, he said that he was the son of God and um, they just wanted to crucify him. If Pilate would not have listened to the Jews, then um, Jesus would not have went to the cross. He would not have died. And you know the story, we would not have redemption through the death of Jesus Christ and his bloodshed. Um, God allowed the Jews' hearts to be hardened um, to get Jesus to the cross. And sometimes that's not an easy pill to swallow because so Jesus even told Pilate, you don't have any authority over me unless it was given to you from heaven. So he came for this. He came, he knew this is what he was going to go through. So he did not resist. And, um, I mean, it's something to really like think on like, God, Jesus, you know, you knew you were coming, you came to die and um, you willingly surrendered to the Father's will. Now, going back to verse 19, Pilate, he wrote King of the Jews. Even if you read further on, the Jews say, don't say king of the Jews. Say that he said he was the king of the Jews. And, G and Pilate said, I wrote what I wrote. Even this heathen leader could see that Jesus was who he said he was back then, who he is still today. And it made me think how it's kind of sad, but I was like, Lord, you know, sometimes... <laughs> you know, in different circles.
a brother or a sister in Christ may not see us for who we are, but someone that's not saved, that don't know the Lord, they recognize you as different. They recognize that you are a Christian. They know that there's something different about you, but sometimes your own don't recognize you. And um, it makes me think of that scripture where Jesus says, um, he came to his own and his own knew him not. He came to his own and his own knew him not. But here's Pilate. Pilate recognized, I think in one of the other gospels too. Hold on one second. Let me close my door. And one of the other gospels, um, it mentions that um, Pilate's wife um, went and told and said, you know, I've had many, don't, don't put your hands, don't, don't, don't do any wrong to this man because um, I've suffered many things in the dream because of him. So, you know, um, they knew, wait a minute, this Jesus is who he's, he's king of the Jews and he is important in stature. But um, so I'm going to write here, I'm going to write the scripture. Hold on one second. I'm going to use some, I have some washi tapes here. I have some. I think I'll use some of these here. I wrote the scripture and I wrote Jesus was not recognized by his own, the Jews, but a pagan leader recognized him. Everyone does not know Jesus and will not understand him. I know it is the same for me. I know it is the same for me sometimes as he is in this world. So are we. And that's what just came to mind. Like, you know, sometimes people are not going to. Um. Everyone doesn't, first of all, everyone doesn't know Jesus. 
Everyone does not get him. Everyone does not understand him. And the Bible says, as he is in this world, so are we. And um, I realized that sometimes, unfortunately, there are situations where sometimes some of us in the body of Christ struggle with respecting one another and um, the call on one another's lives. Uh, I think it's a part of growing in the Lord. Um, we get to a place, God brings us, gets us to a place where we learn to um, respect each other and love each other regardless of differences, whether, you know, we like a person's personality or not, we can still love the person. We may not like their personality or, you know, um, their style, but we can still choose to love them. And by the grace of God, God gives us strength to love and not be judgmental and not, um, how can I say, um, mistreat one another. Um, everyone will not recognize the call on our lives. They will not recognize what God has called us to do. Um, but there are some that God will have um, to recognize. In the same way Jesus came to his own and his own will have not, we're going to go through that. As he is in this world, so are we. You know, sometimes there's a scripture too. Jesus says, a prophet has not honor in their own hometown. Sometimes we're looking for people that is the closest to us, to understand us, to get us. And God is like, it's not going to happen for whatever reason. For whatever reason. I've found in some situations when it has happened to me. It honestly was because God was allowing it because I was too dependent upon their approval. I was too dependent upon them for, for significance. So God had to like siphon it off, shut it down, no approval from them, no support from them. And now I've moved you on and now you're doing things and it's not because you got some type of approval or significance from them. It's because of me, because you know, certain things that God will have us to do. We cannot look for people to be patting us on the back and singing our praise. No, in accolades. That's not why we do what we do. You know, that can't be the core of it. That can't be the foundation. The foundation has to be Jesus, whether others like it, whether they approve, whether they support or not. It's like, what did God say? And I know that's easier said than done. But um, God has showed me for, for a few years, he was dealing with me, I had to deal with some real hardcore rejection. And it was for my own good. It was for my own good because it was like whether you, whether you're supported by them, whether they approve of you, whether they like you, whether they think what you have is some of some value or some eternal weight, whether they think that or not, it's not going to make a difference on what I do. If God says to do something, he's going to give me the strength to execute it. And that's that. And that's just, that's not only for me, but that's for all of us. God wants us dependent upon his spirit alone. And he knows who we are. It's this song. This song by Travis Green titled Be Still. And he says, if it's attention you want, I already know you. And I love you that way. So I thank God. He knows us. He recognizes us. And he does have those that he would raise up to recognize who we are and give that support and understand that we're not the negative thing that someone is saying. However, if that if we don't see that type of support present at the moment, Whatever season we're in, we just got to know that it's God cares. God sees, he knows who we are, and we can just go forth and do what he's called us to do. I know Jesus, based on the scriptures, I know that he didn't let what anyone thought of him or if they accepted him or thought uh, if he didn't let that stop him. His significance was him doing the, what the father said, and because he was about doing the father's will, he could... Um, and then he didn't let what people thought of him or did to him stop him. So thank God for that. So that's all. So I put a few stickers and 
Um, yeah. I think that's a powerful lesson that we all need because rejection is part of this walk with the Lord. It is. And if you haven't experienced, you, you will. But I'm sure we've all had our share of it because it's a part of life. You know, it, it really is. Everybody don't like what we're selling. Everybody don't like what we're presenting. And they don't have to. They don't have to. And that's one of the things I learned. Like, don't, don't have a sense of entitlement. Nobody owes. I realize nobody owes me nothing. The Bible says, oh, no man but to love them. And they, they owe me love, but that's only because they have to be obedient to God. And um, not but because um, I deserve it from them. You know, um, so I thank God for his word and uh, he helps us put things into perspective. And when those things are in perspective, you know, it just makes life easier, in my opinion, anyway. It makes it easier. Not that it's not difficult, but without it, it could be without God's word. And God's help, it could be far, far worse. So now I'm just using these stickers all over this page. Like I said, I'm at work, so um, it's my lunch break. And um, I'm doing my journal page for the day. So I was like, why not try to record it? I know it's kind of quirky, the way that it's probably coming out and recording. But I'm just, um, I don't have, like, my, my, of course, I don't have my, um, what is that? My um, camera set up here. So... And yeah, so I was like, why not try it? So I got these little stars from um, diamonds and stars and stuff from um, Michael's. I think it was Craft Smart. Um, yeah, the Craft Smart thing. Okay. Put this here. So, not a lot of space with this now. But anyway, put them here. Okay, so I think that's about it. Let me see if I can fit one. I'm trying to fit fit as much as I can. I hope this is tiny over here, maybe. Right here, maybe right here. I think I can fit one more. On this side here. Yeah. I'm not sure. All right, I think that's it. What time is it? Okay, it's time. My class is coming. I got three minutes. All right, so I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.